Hey guys, welcome back to Bronx's Math Club. Today's topic is what is distributed property? So, distributed property is when is used when you multiply a term by two or more terms in a set of parentheses. So, let's say that we have a. Okay, so we have a and we're going to multiply that by b plus c. So, you're going to distribute this expression. So, we're going to multiply a with b and add that with a times c, right? So you're multiplying a times b and a times c. Now, this equation could be a parentheses b. I mean, this expression could be a parentheses b plus c plus d. And you still have to do a b plus a c plus a d. Um, it could be a parentheses b minus c. So then you'll have to um, do a b minus a c. Okay, so now let's replace these variables by numbers. So now we have 3 parentheses 5 minus 2. So when you do the distributing property, you have to distribute this expression. So first, you're going to multiply 3 times 5. And then you're going to multiply 3 times negative 2. So 3 times 5 gives us 15 and 3 times negative 2 gives us negative 6 and we know that 15 minus 6 gives us 9 okay now let's do a trickier problem so now we have 4 minus 2 parentheses 4 plus 2. Okay, so basically now you know that how to distribute, right? So we're going to take negative 2 and multiply this by 4. And remember, do not do anything with the 4, just copy it down for now. So 4, and then we know that negative 2 times 4 gives us negative 8. And then we're going to take negative 2 and multiply that by 2. Okay? And multiply that by 2. So we know that negative 2 times 2 gives us negative 4. Now that you have this expression, now you just solve it. So 4 minus 8 gives us negative 4, negative 4, and that makes negative 8. Negative 8 is the answer to this expression. Okay, now let's do one more problem. This may kind of confuse you because this time the problem is 5. Let me just write that with another color. So let's say 5 in yellow. Okay, so 5 minus parentheses 3 plus 2. How do you do this? Well, now you don't have a term to multiply by the two or more, uh, the, by the two terms in these parentheses. Well, you do. When you don't have a number in front of this um, negative sign, then you have 1. Okay? So, now that we have 1, we have to multiply. So, we have to multiply negative 1 times 3. And then, we have to multiply negative 1 times 2. Okay? So, remember, bring down the 5. And then we know that negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. And negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. And when we um, do this expression, so 5 minus 3 is 2. And 2 minus 2 is 0. So 0 is the solution to this expression. Stick around for more videos and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.